Our winner is the only fully dedicated insurance fraud prosecutor in the state of Texas. He works a large territory. It's Dallas County, which makes him practically the lone ranger of that territory. But even so, our winner compiled a long record of fraud convictions this year. He put together and prosecuted 63 fraud cases this year. His convictions earned more than $2.8 million in restitution. He frequently charges swindlers under organized crime statutes, which includes insurance fraud. This raises the odds of a conviction by allowing him to introduce evidence of other crimes beyond fraud. And as part of plea bargains, our winner requires defendants to be videotaped confessing about why and how they committed their fraud. Among the criminals he swept off the street this year were three insurance agents who stole more than $320,000 in client premiums. In another case, a woman filed 35 false medical claims, including several appendix operations. Our winner also busted a gang that was using a car dealership as a base for stealing cars for insurance money. So far, he's convicted six of eight gang members. Giving back to the anti-fraud community is also part of our award winner's persona. He gives speeches, seminars, and workshops on fraud issues throughout Texas and nationally. In fact, our winner has been an imposing force in the courtroom throughout his career. He's prosecuted 250 insurance fraud cases in his time with the insurance department, earning $7 million in restitution. He's achieved this despite spending many months out of office. This is because our winner generously gives back to his country. He's a major in the U.S. Army Reserve, where he serves as a judge advocate. In fact, he spent six months in Iraq during the darkest moments of that war. He was co-prosecutor in one of the most sensitive cases of misconduct by a soldier in U.S. history. Our winner took on the very first case involving a soldier's abuse of an Iraqi prisoner at the notorious prison of Abu Ghraib in Baghdad. He's still active in the Army Reserve and now works in defending soldiers accused of misconduct. Our special winner also is a caring private citizen. He's been active in the Special Olympics and in legal aid for elderly people. Yet, despite these many demands on his time, he has finished the Ironman Triathlon, which many consider the world's ultimate test of endurance. All of this goes to show that in the courtroom and out, our Prosecutor of the Year is truly a man who goes the distance.